So we're back. We've got a, an M3 update and we've also got a garage update. I've gone and bought myself another car. Um, so I'm gonna show the boys what I've bought and see what they think. We think we're gonna take it to Goodwood today, aren't we? Yeah. Go down to Goodwood, innit? Stretch its legs. Not, not, I've got no idea really yeah. what this thing's gonna be like. <laughs> you never know, but it could be something fancy, innit? You've done a few things to your M3 first, haven't you? Yeah, let's have a chat about the M3. Yeah, straight away, I've got the 260M wheels, which are originally from the E90 series M3. Um, 18 inches, so it drives a lot better. Wider track on the front. Wider yeah. track on the front and rear. They have lighter, I believe, than the OEM 19s as well. And yeah, just all round, I think. It looks good. I'm not overly sure about the colour still against the silver grey body. I, I like it. I like it. It's got it a, a mean, well. mean stance to it now. Maybe one day I'll change them, but not yet. So I will change the tyres eventually to um, some track, some semi slick track day rubber, I believe. So I've changed the front wishbone. So after all your comments on the E46 versus free, M3 versus 330 video, a few of you are saying, oh, that's not right. It can't handle as bad as a worse than a 330. To be fair, I think some of you are right. It, yeah, the wishbones had had it. Um, I took them off. Uh, once we fitted the new ones at the Indy, the steering wheel suddenly pointed left, and these that shouldn't have happened. So that just shows how bad they were, the original ones. Yeah. So I had to have it all realigned again, third time this year, and it's made a massive difference. It it's couldn't, it really couldn't really handle well. the fact that my lower, lesser car was driving better than M3. <laughs> the rack's still slower, I still stand by that, and you can take notice it, but it does drive up. Got some stuff inside. So I put a um, M3 CS Alcantara steering wheel in it. It's fair, good, it's fair condition. It needs a retrim or it needs sort of, it needs a little bit of work, but for now it's fine. It looks, it looks good. It looks I've good, also it? got this carbon fibre trim piece, which I'm, I'm still not overly sure, and I might go back to OEM. I've still got the OEM spare one at home um, in the garage. It's in, but in hand, it feels lovely. I must admit. I've also gone back to the standard shifter as well. Um, as much as I loved the drive with the Storm Motorworks one, it just it, it didn't look right in the car, it was annoying me. I had a cheaper leather quality gator on it and it was just annoying me, so I was like, I'm going back to OEM. Nice. Anyway, as much as we do love the M3, today is about a different car. We haven't been, uh, we haven't been privileged enough to see or drive this thing yet or have a ride in it, but today's the day. Anyway. What is this thing? What do you mean what is it? What is what what it's what a Nissan Micro K11 1.316 valve back. Yeah. 75 horsepower. 0.60 about 11.2 from there. Okay, so have a look in the boot then. Yep. The boot. I just, I'm su <laughs> you haven't. I was surprised you found the GTR version. I, mean, I didn't know they made them. They're quite rare. <laughs> oh, it's there, Nana. I don't care. Got an upgrade. Yeah. We've just put at least 20 horsepower on the car. JDM life. At least you got it straight. That's a, that's a, that's a plus one, I guess. <laughs> this should be a V6 twin turbo. By the um, the bad is correct, isn't it? Twin cam. Running smooth on all yeah. cylinders. Yeah, we're on this and battery still, the original battery. The exhaust heat shield rattles underneath. It's a good feature that uh, in the GTR got version. Condition that doesn't work. Well, it does sort of work. It just needs regassing. I mean, if you um, stick an induction kit on the exhaust on it, you get over 100 horsepower. Out of it. Seriously. 75 standard, an exhaust, full exhaust induction kit, another 20 volts. Did you hear him right? Full exhaust and induction kit. Look at this thing, Ash. <laughs> 25 horsepower though. <laughs> Go on, then you get. Oh, the dog manually eating this. No oh. central locking. Good. It's a good side clunk on the door. Doesn't sound like a golf though, does it? <laughs> I must admit, first impressions, Ash, is it? It's got some wallowy suspect. We haven't well, gone you, you should have seen the original shocks. Literally, as soon as I got in it, the car went like that. I, I kid you not. I kid you not. <laughs> have to get you uh, centre mounted. Got a steering and, and an air. I bag. can't believe it's got air conditioning. <laughs> it's not going 
power steering for long when you're driving it, is it? So what's the motivation behind getting this car out? It can't be the, the style element, is it? Is it that? Or there it goes, the knock on the back. Um, the reason I bought this car, it pains me to buy this car. I've got a beautiful M3 in the garage that's basically had a lot of money spent on it to get it the world want it, and it's, it's nearly there. But that was one of the main reasons I have had to leave it in the garage because I was using the M3 to commute to work and I work in London, I lost my parking space at work, which was secure, and then I have to now park on a side street in West London. I've seen loads of cars with dents and scratches. Well, this one's already been knocked there already, so I, I couldn't do it to the M3. It's just, it, it would kill me to see people keep just hitting it. Yeah, it's not right. Um, and also this will do double this to the gallon the M3 does, so. I'm saving money as well. To be honest, I wouldn't want to crash this. <laughs> this is it's not the oh, it's got like a two-star end cap. If I'm honest, I don't want you to crash yeah, it. No, so. But it's actually not. It's not too bad. It's quite nippy. Like, let's put to the floor in a second. Look. Yeah, I tell you what, on my own <laughs> on the on the traffic lights on my own. This thing <laughs> to about 30 mile an hour is there's not much touching. Like, I kid you not, it's rapid. You Put it in second though, and it's a game over. Have you just heard what you've said there? Yeah, it it is, it genuinely is. Nothing, not much can touch this yeah. from 0 to 30, yeah? <laughs> any, yeah? Any viewers out there believe you might have a car that can beat this off the bike, so Please, feel free to yeah. comment. But yeah, no, so I fit this stereo. Yeah, it's so not got, got a CD player in it though. Aftermarket stereo, head unit here at the moment. We're, we're doing something this car's probably never <laughs> Breaks never up, never been to before. We're uh, we're gonna take it to a race event at Goodwood Motor Circuit. Imagine. Right, let's see if it works with three people in it. There's a <laughs> fairly normal looking focus here. She, she's ready to race. <laughs> that was wheel spin. That was 100 percent wheel spin. Nothing much can touch this, I'll give you that. Look at her, she's cause she's met, she's long guys. <laughs> That's why I love it. Like, you, you, I can't do shit like this in my M3. I um, tried to top it out the other day on a private road. Got 100 yet? Well, it has indicated 104 on the speedo, but it wasn't. It was about 98 actually GPS. Just coming out to a tunnel now, so we'll drop the windows and see what exhaust notes we get out of this beautiful 1.3 GTR. Ash has informed us it's got a fairly new exhaust on it, so what's he got? Miltech? No, I mean, it's some um, Euro car. Capabilities. Test one. Testing out the suspension, yeah. honestly. Right in the bumps, are right. It's creaking, though, isn't it? <laughs> Skipping along. We're not even going that fast. Mm -hmm. No, no, we're not doing that. That was funny, but it's too much. Brakes, boys. I don't think it quite likes the uh, extra bulk on board today. Sally Goodwood. Make sure you lock the doors. Yes, boss. So we made it to Goodwood Motor Circuit. Glorious day. You might be able to hear behind us. There's a bit going on today. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a classic race car event, a sprint event. So you, it's not exactly. Um, Cars all out there racing on track against each other, but you're setting times and trying to, I guess, get personal best with your car. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an awesome weather wise, and it's uh, some nice sounding engines. Yeah, yeah. Let's go see what we find. We'll look around.
that was like straight away. Classic. Classic hot match. You'll be really confused with that. Two words you use there, or three words, classic and hot hatch, are, should never, be, not hot never hatch. be associated with what you've got over out in the car park. So yeah, that's it. We've uh, had a little look around Goodwood. We've taken Ash's new motor out on a, for a spin. Stretch his legs a little bit. Probably his last outing as a guys that drive uh, event, but we'll see. If you guys want to see something else, let us know. We might bring it out and yeah. do something. Otherwise, it'll be the M3 or one of the other cars, I expect. So, yeah. See you next time. See ya. There you go, Rupert. Look after him, mate. Look after him. <laughs>